Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel, how are we all doing today? Oh boy, it is a bit nippy actually tonight. Um, I wasn't planning on recording this late, uh, I was supposed to be out of work an hour earlier, but one of my clients had a mishap with a previous appointment and then thus got to me an hour late and then the person, because they do two different sort of ways of treatment in our place, they sort of mix them and they put me last even though I'm supposed to be first, so I had to wait even longer. So 10 out of 10 to my work establishment making me wait an extra bloody hour for a 30 minute appointment mate, that I had to deal with, so oh forgive me if I sound a little agitated today because I... I am. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. How we all been? How's the wife? How's the kids? And all that other good stuff if you're single and all that. <laughs> Mate, last video, sad memories because of uh, old bike man. This video, I tell you what, they got him. They done diddly did it. They, got, they done got him. If you're familiar with watching a lot of motor vloggers on YouTube, you're probably familiar with uh, the name of Jixabra. Now this is a man who typically rides like we all wish we do and could without getting stopped. And I'm talking two, three hundred kilometers an hour everywhere, just because he can. Now, unfortunately for the old mate, he got arrested recently. And it's always so sad to watch your boys and that you watch on YouTube get caught and ruined. You watch them like the old, was it the Ghost Rider? And that man's somehow still gone, but lo and behold, Jigsabra has not. So our band made a trip that was meant to be an hour long. So it was a Colorado to Denver, I think the video originally was. We did it in 20 minutes, which, look, let's be honest, if you're on a motorbike or if you're a car enthusiast, you've probably done a trip similar to that <laughs> yourself. But the difference is we don't post it on YouTube, all right? Now, the downside about being a motor vlogger who relies on uh, riding around and being a little bit of a reckless unit is the fact that you can have things like what happened to old Jigsabra happen to you, and that's getting caught and your video is being used as evidence, unfortunately. So old mate was doing 150, 180 miles an hour or some crazy number like that on his Jigsaw 1000. And unfortunately, those police were like, I think in Texas, they can't use uh, videos as evidence, but Denver, they, I think Colorado's a bit different. So, hey, man, that's a weird looking pair. <laughs> they done screwed him in that regard. But there's a reason when you watch my YouTube videos, I may talk about doing some twisty stuff but when you watch my actual content i'm pretty tame and there's a reason for this all right a few was it years or months ago there was a youtuber who drives around exotic cars and he went out to the middle of the countryside you know exactly where there's nothing and no one to worry about exactly where you'd expect to speed in a car and uh the authorities done tracked him down and then banned his license or something and fined him a whole bunch of money so when i'm out here recording youtube videos i tend to take it pretty uh calm because the cops in Victoria, Victoria and Australia as a whole really are just a bunch of assholes. They don't let you have any fun. Now it depresses me when I hear about um, my dad talk about his older brothers when they were younger. Oh well they got their license. If you wanted to just go out fast the speed limits in the countrysides were infinite all right there was no speed limit. Kind of like that one road in Northern Territory which is exactly how it should be because Australia is I don't know if you know this but it's fucking huge mate. It's like if you put a side-by-side -side of America and Australia, mate, they're essentially the same size when you put them side-by-side, -side, so... It annoys me that we have a bloody speed limit of 110 in most states, and Victoria is not, you know, no exception. In Northern Territory, I think it's 130 at the most, and that one road where there's no speed limit. Honestly, it's stupid. We've got all these cars and bikes that can break faster than ever, and we're getting slower and slower speed limits. The most depressing thing that you see while riding around and driving around is a sign that says new limit because never in the history of ever has a new speed limit sign that has the new limit thing ever gone up in speed it's always an 80 zone that's now a 60 zone or a 40 zone that's that was a 60 zone etc etc or the countryside where it was 100 now it's 80 all right the state of the bloody speed just like rules in this country is pathetic I think every country should have an autobahn, minus the history of the actual one, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so depressing hearing the stupid amount of speed laws that keep getting put in place for our country. But mate, oh, another bloody bug, it's just, they're just, they're just beelining for the helmet today, I don't know why. Yeah, it often bloody fires, I was going so slow as well. <laughs> All those cars took off so slowly, that was a bit sketchy actually. <laughs> no matter, we move. The Beamer bloody is the only car that I've ever seen just take off with some determination. Oh. But guys, it's a sad story to hear about old mate Jixabra going, getting down and getting caught like that. Because, old mate, well by legal definition, well of course he had it coming, but in reality it's a sad story. Like, ah, oh, there's two ways to look at it. 
Oh, he gives you a bad name to bikers, sure, but also he's not a dick biker that's punching mirrors off people. He's just going fast for the sake of going fast, which is what most bikers do anyway, realistically, off camera. <laughs> you think I follow all laws? Of course I do. <clears throat> I would never break a law. That would be illegal, sir. But yeah, if you're ever riding around and you're thinking about posting YouTube videos, especially if you're residing in, um, like, Australia, yeah, unfortunately, the cops here actually do watch YouTube, and they, if you do get caught doing some Speedy Gonzalez shit, they will crucify you. So, unfortunately, if you want to be a speed boy, um, you can't do it in my country. You can, I don't even think you can record with chin mounts at most tracks, if any. They don't let you wear GoPro mounts on your chin. You have to wear them on, like, actually put them on the bike. So, double unfortunate in that regard, because, ugh. Australia sounded like it was a great place in the 70s but uh, and upwards, but nowadays it's just such a sissy country, man. A lot of nanny state rules and bullshit like that, which is an unfortunate uh, big shame. But man, if you're a follower of Jigsaw Bra, it's big F in the comments. If you're an up-and-coming motor vlogger, please be careful with your, um, ooh, a pan that's a, I think that was a Panagol, mate. And yes, I know it's a Panagol, relax. Um, but yeah, please be careful if you're a motor vlogger in Victoria or Australia of the like. They will get you because the, the Australian cops have nothing better to do but try and raise money because they although they say they don't revenue raise, but lo and behold, we have the camera cars out here which aren't part of the police who said the same thing, but now they're on strike and they're like, oh, we're not going to hit our revenue or KPIs. And you're like, hold, hold on a minute. The old Freudian slip, mate. So uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a big, uh, big shame with old mate, but... Unfortunately, that happens when you uh, play with fire. You're going to get burned eventually. I don't even think I'll be able to go into my old park today. I think it might be closed by the time I get there. Let's have a look. Because, you know, late videos and whatnot. Oh, well, if it is, I'll end the video just in front of the joint. But, mate, I tell you what. Thank God I uh, took myself a chalky milk before I went to work. Because, <laughs> evidently, it was necessary. Oh, she's open. Look at that. We've got some motocross right now standing up on the bike. Oh, baby. Look at all this difference up here. Oh. Look at the little puppy. Oh, mate. Oh. I tell you what, though, it's a sad, sad day for old mate biker YouTube channels. Ugh. Because if you think about all that stuff, it's quite fun. Uh, it is, <laughs> and we can't do any of it. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Obviously, I'm going to check my bike over because my chain, I think, is a bit loosey-goosey again. And I think I need to buy a new one because that's not good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ooh. Also, this is a new part. Look at this. This was re replaced. It's already, like, scratched off to the metal, and I don't know why because the other side hasn't done that. So, dodgy cheap parts, huh? <laughs> Tragic. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe and all that magic. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy, keep it cheesy, and have a good day as always. F in the chats for Jixa. Peace. Bye. Ah.